Are you facing a challenge right now? Meaning you're not where you're supposed to be, be it physically or mentally? You're sort of in a foreign place, not quite in your comfort zone. It's like being in exile. My hope and prayer is that this message is a blessing to those who are going through some form of exile right now. Typically, when the word exile is used, it pertains to someone who has been forced from their native land to go live in a foreign land. However, I believe this message could actually apply to any and all types of exiles that a child of God may be going through. For example, if you are living somewhere that is not your home, if you are working somewhere or doing a job that is really not where you should be or what you should be doing, if you are not physically or mentally where you should be because of an illness, or maybe you feel like you are just not in the body you are supposed to be in because you simply need to lose weight. If there is anything that you are going through that is taking you out of your comfort zone, causing you to feel in your heart that you are not where you are supposed to be or you are in a place that is not where God told you that you are supposed to be, then this message could be a blessing to you. This message is based on scripture taken from Jeremiah 29. I will be reading from the New International Version. This is the text of the letter that the prophet Jeremiah sent from Jerusalem to the surviving elders among the exiles and to the priests. The prophets and all the other people Nebuchadnezzar had carried into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon. This was after King Jehoshaphat and the queen mother, the court officials and the leaders of Judah and Jerusalem, the skilled workers and the artisans had gone into exile from Jerusalem. He entrusted the letter to Elasa, son of Shaphan, and to Jemaria, son of Hilkiah, whom Zedekiah, king of Judah, sent to King Nebuchadnezzar in Babylon. It said, Now what I would like you to take away from the scripture that I just read is that the prophet Jeremiah sent a letter to those who were in exile from Jerusalem and taken to Babylon by Nebuchadnezzar. This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says to all those I carried into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon. Build houses and settle down. Plant gardens and eat what they produce. Marry and have sons and daughters. Find wives for your sons and give your daughters in marriage so that they too may have sons and daughters. Increase in number there. Do not decrease. Also, seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which I have carried you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it, because if it prospers, you too will prosper. Yes, this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. Do not let the prophets and diviners among you deceive you. Do not listen to the dreams you encourage them to have. They are prophesying lies to you in my name. I have not sent them, declared the Lord. So here's the crux of the message that I'm trying to make in this video. Even though you may have been unwillingly and through no fault of your own, been put in an uncomfortable position or place right now, you should still be trying to make the best of that situation. Do what you can to better yourself and or learn from the situation because when you are a child of the Most High God, Satan cannot touch you unless God allows it. So something positive and very powerful is going to come out of your exile or trial 
although you are in a foreign place or in an uncomfortable place. Don't let anyone tell you different. Those who might be telling you what you want to hear or what they think you want to hear because God has not sent them. Let's take a look at the next verse, verse 10. This is what the Lord says. When 70 years are completed for Babylon, I will come to you and fulfill my good promise to bring you back to this place. So there will be a time when God will come in his timing and bring you back to your native land or your comfort zone. Verse 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You see, while you are in this foreign land or uncomfortable place, you will need God to make it. So you will go to him and pray to him. Verse 13, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and will bring you back from captivity. The word captivity is telling us that we are not free when we are in a foreign land or in a trial or a place of uncomfort. We are being captive. But the Lord said, I will gather you from all the nations and places where I have banished you, declares the Lord, and will bring you back to the place from which I carried you, carried you into exile. The Lord said that he will bring you back to your native land or comfort zone and always remember what the Lord said in verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. So even though things are hard right now and looks bleak, remember God has plans to give you hope for the future and to prosper you. Hold on and keep the faith. It's only a matter of time before God will lead you back to your comfort zone and bless you because he wants you to prosper. Thanks for watching. God bless. Peace and love.